Real Talk NY.net is the future right here on the show, man. We tuned up. Man, I've been working on this album for like a year and a half. Like doing all the mixtapes that just sound like Pluto. Like I was just telling this other dude, like everything sound very space. All the ad, all the songs that I feel like they need ad lib, certain songs I just let breathe and just be melodic and ver it's very versatile. So when like certain songs I was giving you taste, giving you, you know what I'm saying, getting you familiar with my sound, with knowing what's going on with Pluto. So when you hear Pluto, you're gonna be like, Oh, he just burned like three of them long time comings or Songs like Ain't No Way Around, he got two songs like that on here. And songs like, you know what I'm saying, just like different songs that I gave you a taste of, man, I'm giving you a dose of it on um, Pluto. I'm just getting out vibes and just get being creative and just so I never know what happened the night before or when I woke up or during that day to make me feel like the songs that are coming out. So the songs that I come out, they, I speak directly from my soul and what I'm going through, real life experiences or what I'm hearing or what I hear in the studio. Everybody at the studio vibe, and I might just go out for somebody to talk about. And just you know what I'm saying, and just being creative. It like so, me being the way I create songs is just like you never know what I might come for me. Man, I always wanted to make rap my career, but just two years ago when it finally just jumped off, when I would like put everything to the side and was just like I'm going straight and focus on music. And I did the Rocco. Uh, we did. Uh, I did like three songs on his the, the mixtape. And I felt like that was my window to just drop my album, my, drop my mixtape in Atlanta. Just get Atlanta behind me. Because I already had a buzz just in the Midwest and just different little spots where they heard about me, heard different songs. So I just took advantage of the moment. I make every sacrifice. Sacrifice the time with spending with my kids. I don't even spend a lot of time with my kids, man. Just sacrifice it for being in New York and doing interviews right now. Called my little boy while he was on the way. I was asleep because I got in late last night. Then I do interviews and that day at school. By the time I get there, I got to do a um, video when I go to Atlanta. And they're going to be able, uh just might call them, you know what I'm saying, when I'm in a car and just make sure everything good. But I can't even go to the house and just check on them because I got to go straight to the video at 8, get off the plane at 6, change clothes. So just sacrificing that real time for people who really love you unconditionally, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't even care. They care about future because they love the music and they listen to it and they know that I'm their daddy. But without that, they still love me the same. You know what I'm saying? And just for sacrificing the time for them, man, I can look back on it like, man, I know it's worth it. But sometimes I be looking at it like, damn, is it really worth it? Because they love me without it. And I'm I'm giving, I'm choosing this over them. You know what I'm saying? I made it, mis I made a choice of having kids. You feel me? So, just being responsible and you growing and you learning, like, man, responsibility. Well, this is how you be responsible. This is how you do this. This is how you, certain things you can't run from. And they're just learning, you know what I mean? So who says, you know what I mean, where my career going to be or where I'm going to be at? But I just know that I'm growing and I'm learning, like, certain things that I miss and I know that what makes me me that is getting taken away from me because of my busy schedule. Right man, help out good because I'm in it, you know what I mean? And Shit, I'm going to be here forever, you feel me? Like, I'm going to be either on the scene or behind the scene. Either way it go, I'm here forever. Like, I'm telling you, I'm making smash hit records from R&B singers to, to whoever it is, you know what I'm saying? Or even sitting at the desk, this is where I'm going to be at the office. or You know what I'm saying? Because I know I like seeing artists be artists and develop and just like niggas to shine. I want to see everybody shine. And being an artist, everybody want just want you to shine. You feel me? You only the one who get the shine, but I just I love just seeing everybody do good. You can't just look at my music as one way, you know what I mean? You gotta look at like I tell me it's a picture that you gotta stare at for a long time because you ain't gonna just get the picture and what you see is not what you really get. You know what I mean? You gotta study it. It's like more study this music than just try to look at it and zoom in for one second or two seconds. You gotta focus in on it and understand what's behind the music.